What the hell is this thing? It looks like a super villain with its brain like that. It's got a platypus tail, what? I, look, I love fantastical creature design, but this is just sinful. Hey YouTube, we're back in another formulaic dinosaur walking simulator video. And uh, today is a very special, 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 very special video. And that is because today we have the... Where is he? Uh... Oh my god, I can't... The Sky Rat, Ramphorhynchus. Now, funny thing is, uh, he dropped yesterday, and, uh, <laughs> nobody in the pesky community cared, because yesterday was also known as our Caprasuchus Crew event, where we, um, well, I probably shouldn't spoil the details, should I? If you were there, you know what happened. <laughs> you know how it went. You know how absurd it was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see that video. I, I'm... It's gonna be a lot to edit. Shut the fuck up. It's gonna be a lot for me to edit. It's like three and a half hours, four hours worth of footage. But, by God, the finished product will be so worth it. And, um... Anyway, Ramphorhynchus. Uh, what else is there to say? Literal rat with wings. Now, I wish I could effectively zoom in on him here. I, I kinda can. He's like... Under... The character name thing. Uh, sure, that's close enough, I guess. Uh, twenty percent faster cooldowns is this subspecies. This one is two times health stealing. He steals health. Hmm, interesting. This is a little blood sucking little shit. Got it. He's a mosquito, and uh, plus ten percent swim speed. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the health stealing little guy. I like this little dude. And we are going to name him Coomer. Because let's be honest here for a sec. His hair makes him look like he has a crippling pornography addiction. Here we are, and whoa! We spawned right at Impact Crater. I will so take that. He runs around like a little dude. He's got a little tiny bite. Uh, three second cooldown on the bite? That's not fun. He's very rat-like in the air, as you would expect. Whoa, I'm kind of like falling. Now on this server, there's no, um bot for uh, giving us marks, so unfortunately we're gonna have to actually play the game this time. But it's great to see that there aren't many cuddlers here at Impact Creator today. Um, I say that as I see a Latin being friendly with a Parasaur. Anyway, let's collect some Lakeweed and um... Oh, that's right, he's uh, semi-aquatic too. Hello Para, how are you? Oh, what is that thing in there? Oh, it's a Sachi, there's a Sachi in here. Damn, please tell me we get decent growth from this. I will actually just log off the server if this quest doesn't give me decent growth, because I am not spending, like, an hour or two growing a ramp for rink. Uh, that little growth for this thing? Really? Different server time. No attacking within the waystone barriers, no attacking your own group, no attacking your group after leaving or being kicked, mixed packing not against the rules, no body down roll, spawn killing is allowed. This is a KOS server! That's what I like to hear, ladies and gentlemen. Although unfortunately, this is not what I like to see. This is not what I like to see either. Or this. Especially not this. And also, this Dunkleosteus mod. Why does he have a receding jawline? Actual Chud Colosteus here. What if it means I don't have to deal with absurdly long growth then? Be my guest. Oh, and we're once again not even far from Grand Plains. Sweet, let's do it. We gotta collect pine cones! Oh my goodness, they're my favorite! One thing I'm noticing, he's just a hatchling, so I haven't felt the, uh, the full extent of it yet. But, uh, Mr. Ramphy here, Ramphy Rat, is, uh, very easy to control in the air. He's not really too clunky feeling. He feels really nice to play as. The only thing I worry about with, uh, little Ramphy Rat here is the fact that, like, you know, he is, as I just said, a rat. He's a rodent. An infester, if you will. He's little, obviously. And if you know anything about dinosaur survival games, Little things are often like, they, they get all this hype, like, oh yeah, it'd be so cool and funny to play as this thing. And then, when it's added, nobody loves it, 
or cares about it. The best example of this is Isle Troodon. Oh, dude, he's gonna be so scary, you guys. Envenomate you when you're least expecting it. And oh, there's so many of them. It's a horde battle. Look out, the Troodon. You know, bullshit like that. And then nobody has, like, ever died to a Troodon, ever. Hopefully, this guy is not totally useless in his combat abilities. He seems like he's very, uh, support-reliant, which he should be. Uh, Ramphrinkus should not be a bruiser. For obvious reasons. And there's 8,000 marks from that quest, so let's take a look at the skins, shall we? This one's nice, but I think I have to get Alderaan coins to get this one. Uh... No! Don't take me away! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being dragged to the Alderaan coin store. This is nice and all. Um, it comes with these other little skins. I'm not gonna buy this, probably. Um, I don't see a point. There's only This is the only skin I would really want, and let's be real, I'm never gonna play Ramphorhynchus. It's just not my playstyle. The Radis. It has a skin called Radis. Oh, they so know. They so know. We have a Gull, a rat with wings, very on-brand. Uh, turn? That's a cool one. Uh, Siskin? Uh, ooh, Chestnut. I like that. These, i recognizing a lot of these as, uh, just regular bird skins, which is a little bit of a funny trope with, uh, feathered dinosaurs. It's just like, what if dinosaur, but with modern bird coloration? And it's kind of cool, but it's also good to see original patterns like this. The fire bird. Watch this be an actual bird that exists. Uh, you know what? I'm... Really thinking chestnut, honestly. I like this a lot. I especially like this pattern. I think I'm gonna go chestnut. Let's go for a green on there to make it look like a display. That's cool. Um, hmm. Black looks good. Gray also looks good here. Um, yeah, I really like this skin. This is, this is a... This is a really nice skin. I like this a lot. Yeah, as much as I wanted to go for, like, the shit posty, ha 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 ha, look, it's a seagull skin. I'm in love with this, actually. This is beautiful. And then for the eye color, uh, how's blue look? Blue stands out well, but green contrasts more. Oh, I like the green. Uh, oh, but the gold looks nice. Green? Gold? Ah, I have to go with the gold. That's gonna be the final. Yeah, uh, let me just look at the other skins. Yeah, this is definitely the peak skin. For sure. Unfortunately, it will be a minute until we can see our skin. But alas. Also, you know, I wonder what this guy's stats and combat weight are. I'm assuming it can't be very much. L let me tell you this. He better be one-shottable by, like, <laughs> Latins. Because as much of a Latin hater as I am, I am the world's number one Latin hater. If there are ten Latin haters, I'm one of them. If there's five Latin haters, I'm one of them. If if there's no Latin haters left, I'm dead. But even so, if this thing can't be one-shot by a Latin, then there's a problem. And oh, what do we have here? We have a Parasaur defending against a bunch of Smilodons. And we have an ugly, boxy Gorgonopsid Innostrand Savia here as well. My man's just getting chewed apart here. Yeah, this is going to be the majority of our gameplay today. Just flying around and watching stuff, but that's okay, because, um, I want to eat something, and actually, I have a, uh, come on, Dino, don't, don't interrupt this hunt, wait, is he defending? It looks like he's defending the para, yeah, anyway, in a minute, I'm going to pour myself a bowl of cereal, today, we're gonna be enjoying a bowl of waffle crisp, does anybody know what waffle crisp is, because, let me tell you, this cereal has a very troubling story, so it's, it's, Basically, these little, like, waffles that are, like, probably pure sugar and just unhealthy for you. But it's these little waffle-shaped things. I think they've got, like, honey in them, maybe? I don't know. They just taste really good, right? And they got discontinued for, like, the longest time. And you just couldn't find them in stores everywhere. My actual 9-11 here, not to, you know, compare the discontinuation of a cereal to a very awful tragedy, but I'm trying to make a point here. This cereal just disappeared out of nowhere, and... I just thought it was never coming back, and a couple weeks ago, I found it uh, while I was shopping for groceries, and it was like, no way, it's here? Did it come back? And apparently it seems like it might be back because uh, this was like maybe a month ago I found it again for the first time, and then I went grocery shopping uh, two days ago on Wednesday, because today's Friday, and I found it again. So naturally I bought two boxes just to, you know, last myself. So. 
once we're done watching this fight here, I am gonna have a little bit of a Waffle Crisp meal. And I just, and this, I'm not paid by Waffle Crisp. I wish I was. I, I, if they paid me to endorse their product, I would so take it. Not that they ever would, but, well, I mean, if you work at the Waffle Crisp, the fucking Inner Strand Savia has a pounce? What? Average DB Dino, dude. He just bit his friend. Oh, it's so over for this poor para. This para would have been better off if he didn't have this guy defending him, honestly. It's so weird, because the Flyers have a third axis, just like the uh, the Aquatics do. But they have a very different camera in the way they function. I keep holding precise movement to move straight, and then vice versa. Um, I just want them to change the, um, the Aquatic movement back to, like, normal movement, where... Just one standard, precise movement is strafing, and then regular movement is regular movement. It's so weird to me how the Aquatics have that strafing movement on as default. It's so dumb, honestly. It makes water combat really janky. And immersion breaking, too. To just see a Spinosaurus swimming to the side. Anyway, let's head back to our little battle over here. It seems like the para is still alive, which is surprising. He sounds like a seagull. I'll be totally chill with these guys, because I can't really do anything, so it's just kind of fun to, you know, watch and not get involved for once, you know? Be a little, a little follower. Not even a follower, it's more like a free spirit. It reminds me, speaking of free spirit, I need to finish the ending of that movie. It's like a sailing movie, it's about this, like, this girl who sails around the world. I think it's based on a true story, and, um... Yeah, I, I, I watched it and I just never finished it. I went sailing today, actually. I feel like I've gotten really good at it in the past couple weeks, um, which is great. I have a uh, I have a regatta tomorrow, which if you didn't know, is the fancy word for a sailboat race. So I gotta get up at 7 in the morning, and it is 10.17 currently. So, <sighs> oh joy, I can't wait to wake up super early and not have any... Uh, oh, hello, cat. Uh, I should probably, like move out of this area and sleep somewhere else to do my abilities. Is this finally going to be the end? Is this how the para goes down? I don't know. To be honest, I'm surprised he didn't use the, uh, the water sooner to defend himself. Rat out is a call ability. <laughs> a call that makes all creatures within 20 meters perform a broadcast call. All affected creatures in your group will gain 20% increased trap movement speed for 30 seconds. Cannot be used while in combat and deactivates the combat as triggered. So if you have a group, it seems like it buffs them as they roar. And if they're not grouped, they just broadcast. It forces them to broadcast. That's really scummy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this was the aisle, that would be even worse. Plague Carrier. Latched onto another creature not in your group, apply a debuff to it that causes 15% reduced bleed, stamina, and health recovery. Decreases food and more. Oh my god, this thing. Uh, decreases, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna put on Plague Carrier. <laughs> They've actually so leaned into this thing being a literal rat. Barrel roll, scatter, uh, leap high into the air when detaching from pounce enemies. Dart. Probably Scatter and Dart are the best. Uh, I'm gonna go with Seabird for my hide. And then Legs, Pounce, Emergency Exit. When in combat, jump 50% higher. And Webbed Feet. Yeah, obviously Pounce. Well, it sounds like we didn't miss much because the para is still alive, apparently. Wait, so why can't I use it? Do I have to be in a group to use that? Oh, lame. Well, uh, here's my Dart. And then this is the Pounce. Pretty self-explanatory. This fight has been going on for ages. The only reason I'm rooting for Team Para is because it is a Para, and I love Para. I mean, who doesn't like Para, let's be real. You know what would be really funny? Come on, can I bite? What? What? My bite wasn't even hitting him. I was biting and it just wasn't working. That was really stupid. Granted, the fact that there's a three second cooldown doesn't help, but still. Oh, now I'm not even near Grand Plains. Gotta love it how he just bites me while I'm on his shoulder. Especially with that stumpy-ass cat neck. Oh, and I'm just noticing that we have a million bite abilities. Wow. Um, I probably should have looked at my head slots. <laughs> uh, refill stamina upon catching fish. That's kind of useless. Uh, scab picker. 
Ew, cone head increases flight control by 20% and bloodsucker. The bite that returns 5% health to the Rampharynchus on each hit. One stack of blood loss to the target. Reaching five stacks of blood loss applies a woozy effect, which reduces the target's turn speed by 50% for 10 seconds, only usable while latched. Well, that's clearly the best one. That is a disgusting icon. Jesus Christ. Can they change that? What is it? Is it like a piece of skin ripping in half no no it's like a dinosaur biting another dinosaur. okay that, yeah that's the, that's like a carnivore jaw and it's biting skin off and it's kind of nasty and now we just enjoy the flight and i'm going to finally pour myself some cereal here because i need something to eat all i've eaten today so far is like a yogurt two granola bars and a banana so running a little low i will say I'm doing this one-handed, keeping my finger on W, so I'm flying, so this could end really badly right now. If I spill Waffle Crisp all over, that will be really disappointing. So then I gotta throw it out instead of eating it. But, no, we're not gonna have to do that. There we go, there's a bowl. And now, for the milk. 2%. Um, okay. Uh, I should probably switch hands here. This could go so wrong. And it would be great content. But, like, I don't feel like cleaning shit up. Okay, I, I, I need to take my hand off W. It's... it's. Uh, can you, like, be like Isle Terra and just keep flying forward? Little Ramph? Ratty Ramph? What, is that what I was calling him? I was calling him something. Ramphy Rat? What, what did I call him? Short-term memory loss, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, where are we? Okay, that's Big Quill down there. Yeah. It's nice being able to, um, see this island from so high up. And actually know where things are now. Like, that's Green Valley over there. Uh, and that's Big Quill. So we are heading west right now. Yeah. It's a lot different from when I first played the lasso, and I had no idea where anything on this map was. I think when I played the lasso, I spawned, like, down here or something. Something stupid like that. Fast grow. This doesn't really feel like super fast grow, especially considering that I'm a Rampharynchus. Like, if this was the aisle, this thing would probably grow pretty quick. Wait, actually, no, it wouldn't, because now it takes, like, an hour to grow the smallest things on the roster, because they increase grow times, because that's totally what everybody wanted from that game. Anyway, let's finally take a bite of this. That is so satisfying. Please, if you... If I, I can't stress this enough. If you guys ever see Waffle Crisp at the, um... At the store. Like, if you're out shopping. Or, you know... If, uh... You don't have the luxury or... Dis-luxury? Of... buying groceries for yourself and you're still relying on like family to do it beg them scream at them make a scene in public at the top of your lungs actual just activate psycho mode and scream mom give me the waffle crisp because you won't be disappointed and she won't be either all right we're about to exit green hills and head into titan's pass slash birch woods so, we're making pretty decent progress at the moment. Take a little rest break. Oh, would you look at that? Exploit spot. <laughs> Not that anyone would be able to find me here anyway, even if I wasn't clipping through the ground, but now I'm basically invisible. Although my growth is inhibited, and I would not prefer that. He needs sunlight after all, especially based on his, uh, General appearance. <coughs> Look at this guy, he looks so silly when he swims. <laughs> Not really seeing any catchable fish at the moment. Is that a KTO or a DB? You're a DB, sadly. Is there any sign of the para? Um, okay, well this was the Dino that was friends with him. I don't see the para, it's possible that he died. And speaking of died, what are you? 
Are you a Mega Raptor? We got some Balls Foldias out here. And a Ramphorhynchus, apparently. Yeah, yeah, there's another Ramphy. Make that two other Ramphys. Hello, guys. These are some ugly Balls Boldias, I'll say that. And there's a Cougar. What, why would you put a modern big cat in the dinosaur game? I don't, I don't get it. Oh. That's a... Giga. A very weird looking Giga. Oh no, there's a bird there too? The Moraquil? Oh god, the mods on the server are not my favorites! <laughs> I'll, I'll put it nicely. Let's latch. Hey dude, I can just kind of sit here and... Ah, oh, that's such a that fucking sound effect. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well, I'm gonna bite you. What? This doesn't even put me in combat. I think I'm just lowering his blood, uh, his bleed heal. I was expecting that to do damage. So five hits should apply a debuff. All right, off I go. Don't really want to hang out with that. I wonder what's an impact crater. It's probably not much better. Oh, hey, we got a cap rope. Always love to see it. Oh boy, here comes the... What in the balls is that thing? Is that like a mammoth on steroids? Holy crap. <laughs> oh god, and... Uh, man. Slop mod time. <laughs> and there go the frames. There go the frames. Oh my god. What the hell is this thing? It looks like a super villain with its brain like that. It's got a platypus tail. What? I, look, I love fantastical creature design, but this is just sinful. Uh, we've got a Latin attacking a Mega Raptor. You know what? I'm gonna help out here. What? What? He's gonna help the Mega Raptor. Apparently, he didn't need help because the Latin died too. God damn it! Six and a half hours later. All right, we're back on ramp. This time, fully grown because I wanted to give it one more shot. Um, and also, I feel like it wasn't really fair of me to judge him based on um, playing as a subadult because he feels really nice in the air. He controls very cleanly. It's very uh, slidey. He's very slippery and slidey. But, um, it really works for such a little rodent of a flyer. And, uh, I need to get water, actually, so I'm gonna go do that. Oh, but you know the crazy thing I learned about this guy? Um, the reason I didn't damage that Smilo when I was latched onto him is because apparently the bite does no damage to players, but can hurt critters. So now I'm kind of thinking, like, is this thing really useful, like, at all? This thing has absolutely no direct damage attacks, and... As much as, yeah, a Ramphorhynchus should be hurting large dinosaurs, it still seems really weird to not allow that on this guy. And I get it, he's super hard to hit and all that, but not even just like 0.5 damage on a hit, it's super weird. I don't know. But yeah, after I realized that, I kind of just took off my uh, attacks and just equipped the uh, cone head buff which increases flight control by 20%. So that's actually probably why this guy feels so good in the air right now. He feels a little less agile when I take off the cone head, but it still feels really smooth. Um, I think I actually really like cone head on this guy though, because let's be real, I'm not gonna be playing a support role as Ramp. I'm just using Ramp as a spectator. There we go. And wow, I'm actually taking starvation damage in Path of Titans. That's wild. It's been ages since that's happened. Oh, this is the barrel roll, by the way. It's kind of fun to use. I figured I'd equip that, too, because, again, I'm probably not going to be latching onto things too much, so I don't think I'll really need the move where I jump high off of something. I should be agile enough to escape without that. Plus, the barrel roll is fun, too. Now, hopefully there's food here in Impact Crater. Oh, look how disgusting it is. Rainbow dinosaurs everywhere, and rainbow dragons. Of course, you've got the typical DB Dino, Torvo mod with overtuned stats, Yang Chuan with no body and all head. It's another Ramp chasing a Platyhistrix. I have nothing that can damage this thing right now, so, uh... Wait, unless... I think the... the barrel? No, that didn't work. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's equip Bite. And help this guy out. Wait, what? No! No, 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 no! They can just do that? That's lame. 
I know, I'm just as pissed off as you. I always forget they could just phase into the map like that. Damn it. I know there's a burrow around here. There it is. Let's glide in and actually be able to kill something, even if it is just an AI. Little digging animation is really cute, actually. <laughs> Actual rabid little shit. Wait, so... Oh my god, so I'm gonna be able to kill this thing. Look how big it is compared to me. Um, wait. Hold on, I thought I equipped the bite. How did I not notice that? Oh, right, I have to do this. Wow, because I have absolutely no brain, I'm gonna starve. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go, there we go. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> oh my god, how? Oh my god, this guy's definitely a coomer gooner. Jesus, if you catch my drift, look at that. Throat. If I were you, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't stick anything in that mouth. It's very, uh, well, it's very toothy. Hey, Sarah, what you got here? A dead Giga, I see, along with the turtle shell. Interesting. Uh, I'll just, uh, eat some of his jaw. Not even eat the jaw, just eat the, uh, the termites in between his gums. Little pieces of food. You know, they don't want it to be immersion breaking by having Rampharynchus deal damage to large dinosaurs, and then they have it swallowing massive chunks of food like that and having it be able to kill critters that are three times its size. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. I hope he thought that was funny. <laughs>